to show you an interesting example of the principle of mathematical induction, and this is actually something that we see in calculus. This is the formula for the geometric series uh, in the finite case. Okay, this is the finite case of geometric series, and what a geometric series looks like is something like this, where we're adding up powers of r. So this would look like r to the zero plus r to the first, all the way up to r to the n. And when you want to add all those together, you get this expression, r to the n plus one minus one over r minus one. And I'm going to prove this to you using the principle of mathematical induction. Okay, now if you saw my last video about induction, you know that there is a formulaic process to this. I'll try to cover that again here. We start off by saying we will proceed by mathematical induction. From there, we need our base case. The base case would be the first instance. So my first instance is if, well, it looks like we're starting with i equals zero. We need to show that this is true when n is zero. So if n equals zero, then this summation is just r to the zero. And hopefully that is the same thing as r to the zero plus one minus one over r minus one. And notice that is r to the zero is one. On the right hand side of the equation, we get r minus one over r minus one which is one as well. The theorem holds for n equals zero. Okay, now for there, let's suppose that our summation i going from zero to k of r, sub r to the i power equals this r to k plus one minus one over r minus one. Now how do we get to do that? Okay, again, uh, we first covered our base case here, good. The secondly now, we are implying what we call the induction hypothesis. And the way induction works is we say that if the first instance is true, and if the k instance implies the k plus one instance is true, if those two things happen, then it's true for all cases. And the picture you have to have in your mind is the first instance is true, that means the first domino is knocked over. And then after that, if the k domino falls, the k plus one one will fall as well. If you can show those two things, then they we know that they all fall down. I need to somehow use this information to get to the next instance in my series. And we might want to think about what that looks like. That would be something like this. We'd want to go to k plus one power and in our series, and we'd end up with the r to k plus two minus one over r minus one. That's what I'm hoping to get to. Let's see if we can actually get there, okay? Now, this is kind of challenging our knowledge of series notation. Remember, this is, again, like I have in yellow here, r, plus, r to the zero plus r to the one, all of r to the k, so how do I get to the k plus one instance? I just take that same expression and now I add r to the k plus one power. And I can do that on the same side here, r to the k plus one minus one over r minus one. To keep the equation true, I'm just gonna add r to the k plus one power on that side as well. So then bringing in the r plus k plus one power into my series, I'm allowed to do that, all I just need to do is just make sure my series doesn't stop with the kth power, but the k plus one. So it goes from zero to k plus one. And on the right hand side of the equation, I'm just gonna get a common denominator. I'm gonna multiply r to the k plus one times r minus one over r minus one, and I'm adding those. And believe it or not, we have now gotten to our answer. Okay, the algebra is just gonna work itself out. On the left hand side, we're good. We just need to let it just sit there, going from zero to k plus one. On the right hand side, I'm just going to distribute a few things here. So when I distribute r to k plus one across r minus one, when I multiply it times r, I get r to the k plus two power, and then minus r to the k plus one over r minus one. And gosh, it's just too good to be true. It works out so nicely because when I bring these two things together, notice that the r to the k plus ones actually subtract out. And so I end up with exactly what I was hoping to get, r to the k plus two power minus one over r minus one. That's exactly what we wanted to show. That's the k plus one domino, it's fallen over. All right, so now to finish this, we say, therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, you can denote that as PMI, the series going from zero to n, r to the i power, is gonna be r to the n plus one minus one over r minus one, end of proof.
All right now to summarize, we had our base case and our reduction hypothesis, and this part here, which is the meat of the operation, is what we call the induction step. And what that is doing is showing that the kth instance, which is right here, implies the kth plus one instance. Okay, that's what the induction step is doing. And then finally, we have our conclusion. I have another video that explains the principle of mathematical induction in more detail with a couple of examples. If you need that, please go find that. If this doesn't make sense, still let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to help you. I hope it does make sense. Mathematical induction is a very strong and useful technique. Let me know how it can help, and thanks for watching.